Hey, Yanji, Paula, we're out here at the Pahoa Community Center out in Pahoa. Now, uh, this is one of four uh, polling places down here in the Lower Puna District. Now, behind me, there's still a, a little bit of people coming in, but not too many. We're told that a voter turnout a lot less than expected. They showed up to the polls one by one, filling up the booths, not worried about the weather. When you live in Lower Puna, a little rain is just a little rain. They've been through a lot worse. Just ask these residents of Hawaiian Paradise Park, who couldn't even make it to this polling place for the primary election. The trees were down, and, and uh, we had a hard time getting around, and all the telephone poles were down, the electricity was off, and, and everybody was kind of in turmoil at that point in time. So, so this is really a relief to just be able to do normal things again. It was nearly three months ago that a storm tore up these towns, making voting almost impossible for some. It was huge hassles. And because this, of the storm? Yeah, because of the storm. And now compared to today? Uh, easy peasy today, man. Yeah, it's a good deal today. They've been working really hard to set things up. I'm really impressed with uh, uh, the local officials on a lot of levels. We had our mind on so many other things with the hurricane, with the lava. My husband's been ill, so we had to get closer to town so we could be near the airport and hospitals. So it's been, this year has been um, a year of big changes. But. And those changes might keep coming, especially with Pele focused on changing the shape of this land once again. But for a brief moment out of their busy day, these people put those thoughts aside to place their marks on what they feel that matters. I think it's an important thing, you know, where you can put your, your mana over there and vote for who you think is good. At. Now, just to give you an idea of uh, that low voter turnout, how much people showed up here at the Pahoa Community Center, just under 300, I think the number was 298 at last check, and just down the road at the uh, Pahoa High and Intermediate School, there were about 350, and then down the road further at Keone Poco Elementary, they were about 250, so not a lot of people showing up, a lot less, uh, we're told, than previous years. We're going to have more coverage out here from Pahoa throughout the evening. Reporting live in Pahoa, I'm Brenton Awa for KITV4 News.